Toronto Mayor Olivia Chow is taking the city's student nutrition program to the next level. The program currently serves more than 227,000 meals to students across the city every day. Mayor Chow wants to expand that to feed thousands more students who are still going to school hungry. More than 100,000 students from 220 schools just don't have access to the student nutrition program, something we know and are continuing to learn about is important and increasingly so. Mayor Chow's first mission to start by feeding 8,000 more students, and that will happen a few months from now in January. So joining us on set once again is Mayor Olivia Chow, Mayor of Toronto. Thanks for taking the time. Good morning. Good morning. Listen, I want to talk about the food program you and I both share in the importance and have seen firsthand why it's important in our schools. I just want to ask you quickly about the vote that happened last night. Uh, Toronto City Council voted to extend the lease for the Billy Bishop Airport. You extended it to 12 years. They were asking for 40. Uh, your response to critics who say it's a half-handed gesture and doesn't really show your commitment commitment to seeing it extending the, the life of the of the runway or of the uh, airport well the extension is really about the runway yeah runway is too short and and, and the federal yeah. government says it needs to be longer yeah and there's a deadline yeah and so they need to start construction next summer mm -hmm. so we don't really have a whole lot of time so we rush through and say okay uh, this is the best option go for it do it and uh, so it's really about safety right but now, why 12 if, versus 40 years they were asking for oh, 40, you want 40 you guys agreed to 12. Well, see, because 40 means it's an expansion of the airport uh should there be more flights should they be flying jets when once you do 40 you basically bake all those questions and answer them all and say yes 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 but i think the whole city especially in the waterfront there needs to be a discussion, a longer term discussion as to more jets, more, more flights, what, what should it be on more residents, more businesses, a fine balance it needs to be. But that conversation takes quite a bit of time. So we're saying, go and fix the airport at the airport runway, runway and then we'll have the longer conversation um, because they do have time to have a longer conversation. Some things should not be rushed, especially on safety, uh, well, safety you need to fix, mm -hmm. but on the entire waterfront, it's important that everybody have a say. Okay. Speaking about things that are important in the city of Toronto, I want to ask you about this school food program. Uh, it is very important to you personally as well. I, I understand you first drafted this program uh, with your late husband, former NDP leader Jack Layton, and you were telling me it was Christmas Eve yes. in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, why are you expanding, it's 30 years later, why expanding it now? If you read the 1990, uh, it was Christmas Eve. We we're getting the turkey ready and all that. We we're getting a lot of food ready and, you know, being very grateful. In the season, usually Christmas is talk about unconditional love. And we thought, oh, my God, there are kids that are hungry. So that's the start of the program. Mm -hmm. And we wrote a, a proposal about universal food program. Yeah. And... It's, yes, we have 220,000 kids, but it's not universal. Not every kid in every school have it. If you look at the face, the smile of the kids when they're lining up for food, you can't learn when you're hungry. Mm -hmm. And we do know that kids are going, some kids are going to school hungry. Yeah. So Thanksgiving is coming. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that every kid in our school uh, don't go hungry. So that's why several decades later, yeah. now that I'm the mayor of Toronto, I have a bit more say. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm driving it so that the program to say less expanded. Yeah. It's also the federal government and the provincial government all said that they want to feed more kids. Yeah. So say, and the federal government have a universal food program. I immediately signed up and said, yeah, count on us. We'll match some money and let's start feeding kids. Yeah. Not a few years from now, Let's start in January. Yeah, so th like we said, just three months from now until the new year. There are 21 schools across Toronto that are eligible for this school food program, uh, but they've been denied due to lack of funding. Money, it comes down to money. The city invests right now about $19 million right. annually. Is that right? Yeah. How do you plan to cover the cost of extending this food program? Well, in several ways. The parents, it's pay what you can. Mm -hmm. Parents pay some. There's also, <clears throat> we, we ask for donations from the public, some mm -hmm. of the local businesses, et cetera. And the city will, will pitch in. The federal and the provincial government will also pitch in mm -hmm. because 
they're ready. It's a question when the money will flow. So we're saying, I, we know that there is a national program coming. Mm -hmm. Why don't we start now? Because some kids cannot wait. When you're hungry, you literally cannot wait. And Thanksgiving is coming. Mm -hmm. And we know one out of 10 Torontonians use the food bank, a third of them kids. Mm -hmm. If you're using a food bank, likely that some kids are not getting enough. They may not be having breakfast right now. Yeah. So they're running to school. By 10, 10.30, they are hungry. Yeah. So mid-morning meal is what we want to do. Let's start making that universal eventually. Yeah. And then we can look at maybe a lunch or something. Parents want to pay, so it's not just for poor kids. Parents sometimes get too busy to pack a lunch, yeah. or the lunch they pack the kids may not like. You know. It's so, uh, but let's all pull our resources together. Mm -hmm. Parents, schools, teachers local businesses, uh, restaurants, yeah. and government. Let's do it together. Listen, I know and work with people who had been benefited from uh, food programs in school. Sometimes for periods and stretches of time, it was the only full meal that they would get in a day. I agree with you on the importance. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I know you're not cooking, but you'll definitely be cleaning. So <laughs> best of luck with that. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Mayor Chow. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to you, Thanksgiving. too. If you liked that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.